Hey guys, welcome to Sports Lovers Inc. Studios. I am your host, Owen Napierowski. And today we are going to be doing, or starting up, the 30 Team Challenge. And we'll be starting off with the LA Angels. For those of you who don't know, the 30 Team Challenge, you play as all 30 teams in the MLB. And we'll see how our record goes. Um, I'm going to be talking about the LA Angels, giving them some facts. Giving you guys some facts about the LA Angels and stuff. So let's get it started. Um, I'm going to be starting Jared Weaver going up against the Texas Rangers. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys like the game. Let's get the game started. So the LA Angels, they're a professional MLB team. They're part of the AL West in the American League. And uh, they play in the Angel Stadium of Anaheim since 1996. Their franchise was established in 1961 by Gene Autry, who was a former owner. Um, in 2011, ESPN ranked the LA Angels team number fourth among the other 30 teams. It was pretty good. So they started in 1892 by Gene Autry, who owned the franchise. They made the playoffs three times, but they never won. Uh, some of the star players that they had for them, they had Ryan Nolan. He tossed four of his seven no-hitters for them. And just quickly, check out that crazy play. I picked off Ian Kinsler. And then first he was safe, then he decided he was going to step off the bag for a little, take a breather. But then, nope, he's going to be tagged out. Yeah, you're an MLB player. Come on, buddy. Anyways, Ryan Nolan, he tossed four of his seven no-hitters for the Angels. That is amazing. Wow. In 1979, they won their first ever AL West Division Championship under uh, Jim Fregosi, or however you pronounce his name. And also in 1979, Don Baylor was the first DH to win the AL MVP award. And in 2002, the LA Angel team, they finally won their first World Series title. In that season, they won 99 games. They were the American League Wild Card, uh, first place team in the American League Wild Card, second to the Oakland A's in their magical season, based on the movie Moneyball. Uh, so they won their first World Series title, and they were the Wild Card champs. In uh, the first round, they played the New York Yankees. In the AL Division Series, they beat the Yankees three games to one. And in uh, the ALCS, the American League Championship Series, they beat the Minnesota Twins four games to one, which gave them their first ever pennant. And then uh, then they played the wild card winners from the National League, the San Francisco Giants, you know, who had Barry Bonds, the big slugger. And it was the highest scoring World Series ever. How's the Giants? They actually outscored the LA Angels 44 to 41, but they still lost the series. And the, and Troy Gloss was MVP of the World Series. If you don't believe me, you can research it up. They were outscored, but they somehow won. And all in all, they scored 85 runs together in seven games. And, um, Currently today, their rivals are the New York Yankees, Boston Red Sox, Texas Rangers, who are in their division, and the other Los Angeles team, the LA Dodgers. And one of their uh, main points is the LA. Uh, one of their uh, mascots or rally starters is the Rally Monkey. It comes on every time the Angels, like in the bottom of the ninth inning, or whenever. Currently today, they have some good offensive players like Albert Pujols, Mike Trout, Mark Trumbo, Kendry Morales, and Tory Hunter. On deep on the defensive side, they have uh, two-time Gold Glove winner Albert Pujols. Eric Ibar has won one Gold Glove. Tory Hunter, who's won nine Gold Glove awards, and Vernon Wells, who has three Gold Glove awards, and they also have Mike Trout, the rookie, who is a big contender for AL Rookie of the Year. He's a good defensive player, but since he's a rookie, he does not have any Gold Glove awards. On pitching, they have really good pitchers. They have Jared Weaver, who's 
I would say that he's most likely the ace of the team. They have C.J. Wilson, who they acquired from the Texas Rangers. They have Zach Greinke, who they acquired from the Milwaukee Brewers. Dan Herrien, who's been who's really solid, and Irvin Santana. Irvin Santana is struggling this year, but overall, I consider him one of the better pitchers on the team. They also have a good closer in Ernesto Ferrieri and a good setup man in Scott Downs. Currently, they rank the third highest team in batting average. They rank fourth in home runs. They rank seven in run seven in run scored. They're third in hits and they're seventh in team strikeouts. And when I say team strikeouts, I mean that they have the seventh. They're seventh place in the least amount of strikeouts in the league. That's good for their offense. However, in their pitching, they're kind of bad and disastrous. They're twentieth. The team's twentieth in ERA, which is okay. They have like the wait, no, that's bad. Never mind. They're, they're bad in ERA. And they're twenty-second in saves. They're 12th in earned runs allowed. They're 8th in home runs allowed. They're 25th in strikeouts as a team. They're 13th in opponent batting average. And they're 19th in hits allowed. And on the defense side, they're, this year, they are 19th in errors. Yeah, it's not very good on the pitching side, but I believe that they have the pitching that they can pitch the championship. Even though... I do not know if they're going to win this year because uh, Oakland A's have been putting up some good and surprising numbers, and um, Texas continues to dominate. So it'll be either this year or next year where they'll make it. And uh, overall, they have six retired numbers, which are 11, 26, 29, 30, 42, and 50. They have one World Series title, one pennant. Eight division titles and one wild card berth, and the wild card berth is what they took to the World Series. I believe in the future Angels will be one of the strongest teams in the league if they can keep their players up. But then again, Philly couldn't exactly dominate except once, 2009, I believe. But then, yeah, Philly's is struggling now. So hopefully the Angels can continue to do well. And yeah, that sums up my facts. Now let's get into the commentary about the game. And Michael Young hits a single up the middle that will score the runner on third, and the runner from second will advance to third. And he tries for home for some reason, and he gets gunned out at home to avoid another run scoring. Now the runner tries to go to three, and he'll be chased back down to third, or second back to third and Pujols decides not to throw and lets him go to second safely. Two outs, top of the seventh inning, 2-1. Daniel, or David Murphy, gets a base hit that will score one run, make it 3-1. He tries for a second and I make a stupid mistake right there and I let him go to two. However, Jared Weaver, strike three. Where are you swinging it? And let's go, bottom of the seventh, one out, Eric Ibar grounds the ball to Elvis Andrews. Well, that was a new pitcher. Oh, yeah, Alexei Ogondo pitcher gets Elvis, gets Eric Ibar, and then gets Howie Kendrick to fly out to Josh Hamilton. Top of the eighth, Mitch Moreland, strike three on the curveball, Scott Downs gets his man. And now, I forget who this is, I don't know. He gives up a base, oh no, he doesn't give up a base hit. He gets Ian Kinsler to fly out. Elvis Andrews will reach on an error as I decided not to let him go to second because he was going to be safe anyways and I didn't want to make an overthrow so I just threw a home I guess or something. Elvis Andrews tries to steal and he does steal the base. And in a one two count to Adrian Beltre, I believe. And he will strike out on the slider. Good pitching by the Angels bullpen. 
But on the eighth, Alexia Dando still pitching. And what a play by Elvis Andrews sliding and gets it out. Now Joe Nathan coming in. The two strikes. He punches out Howie Kendrick to retire the side. Heading into the ninth inning now. I think I put Ernesto Freire on the mound. And that's a deep fly ball for Nelson Cruz. That ball is going, 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 and gone! Nelson Cruz hits a home run, giving them some insurance, making it 4-1. And Josh Hamilton will keep it going with a base hit up the middle. Not good pitching by... Oh, wait, what is Josh Hamilton doing? Ah, he will be safe at first. Not good pitching by... No. I think now I broke. I can't remember who I'm pitching. And that's a strike him out, throw him out, double play right there. Um, David Murphy will pop up to Albert Pujols, which will retire the side, heading into the bottom of the ninth inning. Uh, Joe Nathan got the first two batters to fly out to center field, Albert Pujols to Mark Trumbull. Kendrys Morales with two outs in the bottom of the ninth gets a base hit up the middle, keeping the game alive. But the rally was short-lived as somebody, Eric Ibar, will strike out to end the game. Joe Nathan gets the save in a one and two third inning save. Good job for him. And yeah, we lose. That sucks. It always sucks to lose. Nelson Cruz, player of the game, 2 for 4 with a home run. Check out the set line here, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and a comment. Well, if anyone watches the video. And, um, just to, for the record, all the Halo 3 videos are live commentary. And I finished the Halo 3 series. I'm just waiting to upload the videos. I'll be doing Halo 3 Forge online, talking about, like, some of my life stories. Hmm, the life of a middle school person going to high school now. Yep, I'm moving on to high school from middle school. Wonder how that's gonna go. My first day of school is September 4th. I wonder how that will go. Check out the stat line. Mark Lowe gets the win. He was going crazy with the starters, though. Jared Weaver gets lost, and Joe Nathan with the save. Rangers 4, Angels 1. Uh, Rangers getting the better of the Angels. And that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and stay tuned for more MLB action, more UFC, more Halo 3, and much, 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 much more. And on a side note, I won't be doing NBA 2K12 my player this year. I'm waiting for NBA 2K13. So... Yeah, and if you guys want to see any other games, just leave it in the comment section below if anyone actually watches my videos. So yeah, talk to you guys later, and peace, I'm out.